I'm gonna try to keep this brief. It's a lot to unpack, but I will do my best to convey the information as it was given to me. Only after that, I will give my opinion, so try to keep up. There is a lot you need to know. As it was seen in the introduction of this segment, Cyrock Drip contacted me to reveal that Solar and his closest friend Hama were caught sharing pictures of CP in a Discord that is owned by a player named Merrick10. After our conversation, he directed me to the person who actually took the screenshots. The person is a player, Catholic Kavanagh. When I met him, he started to tell me how he used to be friends with Hama and Solar and the rest of the people involved, but he would later distance himself from them as he started to find out of their disgusting behavior. Then he started to search and compile as much information as he could from them, monitoring the Discord servers in which they were active. He provided me with other pictures, with one which placed Solar in a very bad position. This is one of the screenshots you saw in the introduction. On it, Cody shares a picture of what seems to be an underage female to Solar. Later, same Cody admits that the person on the picture was someone he interacted with once. Solar seems to find that entire exchange funny and exciting, and this was done on a public channel. What was this Discord server? Hama and Solar fan club. Hmm, yeah. Kavanagh also shows me a conversation he had months before with Hama, in which he managed to extract a confession. Hama is shown to be pretty upset that one of his accounts, one of his alts, had been banned by Discord. When confronted, he says the reason, and you can clearly read it. But we all get to back to that conversation later. In the meantime, a few days later, Marty, the guy you saw on the first segment of the video doing the solo poem, gets in contact with me. He was also part of the Hama and Solar fan club. At this point in time, Marty had no clue about the investigation being done on them. The only thing he knew is that I was doing the video about Solar. And that's it. So knowing this, he starts to share me pictures of Solar talking in the main chat of that Discord. The exchange is basically solar shit talking me for not accepting his interview. Nothing really strange there. However, Marty then shares me an interesting exchange in which solar pings Kavanagh. This exchange got me very confused. I had to censor the DMs and you can clearly see that he speaks about Kavanagh having a son. Then he makes that disgusting statement that you can clearly read right there and taunts him for not having proof of anything. But how did they know he has a son? Did they manage to dox him somehow? Yeah, I was very confused. So I thanked Marty for all the pictures he gave me and I proceeded to show the last one to Kavanagh himself. I also asked him the questions that I had in my mind. And Kavanagh then pointed me Solar's first interviews. Actually, the first interview he made. He tells me that he is the one being interviewed on that video. He also tells me that he had no idea that this conversation between them on video was being recorded at all. He found it strange how Solar kept asking questions about him and decided to end the call. A few days later, he was surprised to see his face on Hama's channel. And during the interview, Solar's first question is this one. Do you live with other people? Do you have children? Do you have family? I have a son. Do you have a son? Do you have a son? Things were starting to make sense. However, after that taunting, he then shows me 
a sight that Marty would never be able to see. Solar actually DM'd Kavanagh the same picture Cody shared previously before, again as a form of taunting and harassment. But since being bright is not as strong as we have proved, he unintentionally provided him the proof Kavanagh needed. Solar is distributing CP and even boasting about it. Hama also boasts about it as seen here. Remember the compensation in which Hama confesses? It seems something must have alerted them that their information were being compiled. He started to edit the same conversation, changing all of his messages to more innocent ones. Kavanagh, however, was on his tail and managed to capture on video the exact moment where he edits one of these messages. Don't blink because it happens really fast. Just in the first frame of the video, you can see that two of the messages are already edited. But watch closely to the third one. And just like that, it's gone. Or at least it's what Hammond thought. But that's not all. He also shows me a picture that Merrick, the former owner of Cheese Pizza Club Discord, had been sharing in Hama and Solar's fan club. This picture attempts to put the leader of Team No Trees in a bad light. The entire thing seems suspicious, so I show the picture to the man himself, Solid Cold. And Solid Cold then confirms to me that Merrick use the inspect element tools while using the web version of discord to alter what he said on that conversation and make him look bad and then he shows me why merrick did it solid code actually recorded a video of a long exchange between him merrick and other people present on a discord named pop pop followers owned by you guessed it Merrick himself. The conversation is too long for this video, but I will leave the link in the description for it if you want to read the entire thing. To some, Merrick refused to remove what was apparently a CP picture post by Fitfry. After a heated debate, they managed to make him do the, the decency of removing that picture. He, however, still refused to ban Finfry from the Discord. After an even longer debate, Merrick sees no option but to reluctantly ban Finfry from his Discord server. Soil Code exposed Merrick for his clear inaction on something that should have no hesitation. In no moment, he seems shocked or disgusted by the occasion, as if he's used to it. As a form of vengeance, Merrick made the picture I shown you previously to slander soil code, but it really had no effect at all. But you're probably asking, how do I know that Merrick made that picture? Sure, he was sharing it, but how do I know? Well, because I confronted him about it after the teaser video was released, he didn't just not deny that he did it, he even stated it was a great idea to do it on me. He even tried, as you can clearly see, but I quickly made sure to him that it wouldn't work. <sighs> Sorry if all of this was tiresome to keep track of. You saw the very bulk of the investigation. I'm now going to proceed to give my opinion on this whole thing. But before that, I would like to thank all the people who dedicated a lot of the time to get us for this far. The people who directly and indirectly helped with the investigation. They are the ones who did most of the job. And now it's time for my opinion. Right. It's hard to even know where to start. I think a good place to start is Soil Code video. In it, you can see a brief moment in which Mary questions them for 
evidence of whether the picture that Fink Fry posted was CP or not. Here's a problem, Eric. If someone claims that the picture they are sharing and posting on your Discord is CP, you don't you don't fucking question whether they are speaking the truth or not. You remove that shit from your Discord. People have to put you against the wall for you to do the right thing, the decent thing. And this has been common with all the pictures they share around. They always claim it was a pig. They always claim they were minors. And in no moment, these people made any effort to say otherwise. The pictures they share don't help either. If they are fake, they were especially selected to resemble the real thing. That on itself is really fucking scummy. Another thing I didn't show you is that the first picture, which the one that Hamid was trying to sell through PayPal, has his name written on the person's leg. When one of our insiders, PTR Thomas, asked him about it, he replied that he was an 18 years old that simply joined Lowe's Down Discord server and started sharing pictures of himself with people's name on it. Really convincing stuff. But here's my question. How do you know he is 18? Did he tell you that? Did you believe he was 18? How do you know for sure? And most importantly, why do you share it around as child pornography? Also, by saying this, Hama just confirmed that the first screenshots that were given to me are real. See, this was one of the reasons why I released a teaser video. It was designed to cause panic on these people. Before the teaser, Solar was the only one expecting a meme video. After it, they were all being implicated in something really bad. And when people are afraid and in panic, they make mistakes. One thing I noticed is that their way of showing fear is by boasting even harder. They try to show confidence, and in their confidence, they start to make mistakes. Remember Merrick? Well, after the teaser, he was asked to step down from leadership by a member of his faction, a very important member of his faction named David. Well, let's play a little game. I will give you five seconds to guess how Merrick replied to that offer. If you pick number four, you are you you are correct. <laughs> Just like he had done with Soil Code, he when confronted with the truth, he slanders people. This time, however, David expulsion left many of the members of the faction revolted, and it caused a split. I would like to take this opportunity to say that I have nothing against the Imperials. I'm not doing this to harm the faction, but rather to remove a great evil from our community as a whole. Some of them came to me accusing me or targeting the faction. Again, Merrick himself was the one who started the idea that I'm working with another faction to bring them down. That, uh, I, that all I'm doing, that all I've shown is bullshit, it's all just a big conspiracy, that it's all fake. But did you notice something funny? Hama confirmed the veracity of the screenshot and the information on the teaser, thanks to our insider, while Merrick denies it all to save face to his faction. Hmm, that's, that's not good. Are you guys seeing a bit of a contradiction here? See guys, you are all so eager and confident to defend yourselves from a fucking 3 minute teaser video that none of you thought of what was lying below the water. The video was just the tip of the iceberg. And now, it's time to sink this fucking ship.
There is only two possible ways they can defend themselves. The first defense is by far my favorite, which is the one that Mark 10, or Merrick, whatever you want to call it, is the most fond of since it cleans his reputation towards his faction. It's the team foil defense. Basically, it consists on claiming that everything presented to you in this video is false, a fabrication made by a conspiracy of people that want to bring them down. He seems especially fond of the idea that I'm doing this to hit the Imperials, as if I'm involved with some other faction. It's a pretty common defense that politicians usually take when they, when they get fucked by the press or some scandal comes to light. They claim that they are being persecuted and that it's all just a big scheme by his adversaries. And he usually managed to convince some supporters, but not any court. And there is a fatal flaw with that argument in this case. And it's the fact that each one of them were banned from Discord multiple times. Since I started counting, Hama and Solar are on their third account. Mark Tam himself is probably on his fourth, maybe fifth account. It's difficult to know since he had many accounts prior to the investigation. But I know what you're thinking, how the hell does this negate their defense? It's quite simple. In order to get banned from this court, you need to break the TOS, the Terms of Service. You get banned by doing things like doxing, posting harmful content like gore or CP, hacking Discord, you know, hacking the app, spreading malware, harassment or death threats or anything of that sort, and making fake reports. And you know the funny thing? They were never caught doing any of the other things in our investigation. And we reported them for CP posting. And you know another funny thing? Discord operators don't take screenshots as proof because they know how easy it is to fake one. This means that they need to investigate a person's account to find out if they did break the TOS or not. This means that all of them had their activities reviewed by an operator and they were all found guilty of breaking the TOS. Again, multiple times. And to finish, it's important to note that making fake reports can get you banned. Well, none of the investigators account were banned since we started doing this, contrary to Solar, Hamad, Finn Fry, and Mark 10. So yeah, that's one defense down. Next is the one I think Solar and Hama have been taking. It's the one I like to call I was just pretending to be a retard defense. This defense is a huge risk because they will admit that they were indeed posting the images, but it was just pretending. They will likely claim the images are not CP or that they did it ironically. Why? Well, to get reaction out of people, to offend them as a new form of trolling. I don't know. I don't know what bullshit reason they will use, but it's, it's sure to be a very retarded reason. However, that defense also has a fatal flaw. Two, actually. The first one is that one of the pictures that were shared by Hama had his name written on the person's leg. So it was an image that was specifically made for him. That suggests that some of the images that they might have shared around are not something that they just simply found around the internet. And the second flaw is the one that if you have to admit that you posted fake CP as a form of trolling, you're basically admitting two things. One, that you are shit at trolling people, and two, that you are completely brain dead. 
by posting CP, you are basically destroying yourself. You are ruining your reputation and image just so you can get a few reactions out of people. Plus, you are contributing to something that is far more serious, which is the normalization of child pornography. It basically means that if you post CP ironically, even if it's fake, people will eventually post the real deal. And, sure enough, that actually happened in the newest Discord server they made when I released the teaser video. The entire place was a mockery to us. But then people actually started to post the best stuff on it. And they were caught contacting one of our insiders and asking if they had the role to delete a post because someone had posted real CP. Even Hama seemed more worried about it than Mary. Even fucking Hama. And you want to know how he reacted to it? By joking about it. Someone just posted real child pornography on your server and he jokes about it. Literally jokes about it. Literally treats it so fucking casually that it's disgusting. Again, what these people are doing is they are trivializing the suffering of children that were abused by their family members or by people who they used to trust. These people are making a joke about the sexual abuse of children. They are trivializing child pornography. And for what reason? I don't know. And you know, Haman Solar actually knew when to shut up. After the teaser, they have been dead silent. They haven't talked shit about me, they stopped harassing people, they literally dropped everything they were doing after the teaser, because they knew it could be used against them in the video. But Merrick, for some reason, continues doing it, and he doubles down on it, to the point that he made that fucking server, the, the CP club, another fucking CP club. Like, how retarded can you be, dude? You are being accused of something, and your best idea, your greatest fucking galaxy brain idea, is to make a server that will continue to make you look bad. Like, did you really thought there would be a way out of this, where you would come out on top? It doesn't even fucking matter if the pictures that they posted on your servers were real or not at this point. Because what you guys did is so fucking wrong, it's so disgusting. It's so pathetic that it doesn't even fucking matter. You guys are literally joking about child pornography. You are normalizing child pornography. You are trivializing the suffering of children. And for what? For nothing. For fucking nothing. It's over, dude. It's fucking over. This video, Merrick, this video will be your legacy. Because you, you know why? Because Hama and Solar, right, they are outcasts. They have no influence in the community. They know that they have no influence, so they are not losing that much. But you? You have influence. You are the leader of a faction. People look up to you to set an example, right? You lead them. And all you have been doing is setting bad examples left and right. But at least I know that everything you have done in the past will be completely fucking overshadowed by this. This video is a combination of all of your stupid decisions in one place. This is what you will be remembered for. This. Not fucking Imperios. Not Team Ethica. This. This is your fucking legacy for now on. Since we live in a society, I have a question for you. What happens when you cross an imbecile group of pedo-lappers with a community that hates them? I'll tell you what, you get what you fucking deserve.
giving me everything inside and 